Hey, Quad Bros, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video here. Had a lot of people asking me to do something like this, just go over my squads, which is what I'm going to do here. Just talk about them, talk about which squads I like to bring and why I kind of like to bring them, and then which classes and what gear and stuff that I give them. So we'll be going over that. But before we do, I do just want to quickly say, guys, this stuff works for me, but that doesn't mean it's going to work for you, okay? Make sure you find your own play style. If this does work for you and you want to use this as a basis, then great. But if you start doing this and you realize, hey, I hate playing like this, then don't do it, right? Just because it works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you guys. I play very, very aggressively. If you want to be a more of a defensive player or a more of a medium range player or a long range player or something like that, then go for it. Do that rather than trying to force, you know, you force yourself to play a different kind of way right so again just play the way that you want play the way that's most fun for you and you're going to enjoy the game a lot more okay so first off guys i am also assuming that you do not have premium so we're only going to be talking about these top four squads here starting with the tank so the vehicle squad i recommend bringing a tank over a plane the reason for this is i think planes are a lot harder to use than tanks are i think you're going to get a lot more done on average with a tank versus a plane planes tend to be either 30 kills or zero kills so you know, with a tank, maybe you're not going to be getting 30 kills every time, but you're sure not getting zero kills in a tank. So, again, I recommend going for the tank rather than going for a plane or something like that. As for the gear, these guys only have gear really because I have a lot of leftover M3A1 and M3 submachine gun and stuff like that. I have a leftover Sten as well. I give these guys just leftover stuff that I have no need for, right? Like, if we come look here, I have all these leftover guns, and that's what I'm giving these guys right if i didn't have all these leftover guns i would not be giving them you know the guns the tankers really don't need any gear whatsoever except for some toolboxes and otherwise you know you just you should be prioritizing your actual infantry soldiers with weapons right so if you've got the leftover gear go ahead and give your tanker some guns in case you do jump out but otherwise they're just not going to use it most of the time so just don't bother. You can give them some med kits that can heal themselves while in the tank, which is kind of neat. And then the toolboxes, so some backpacks can be nice. But it's it's not a priority. And don't worry about giving them gear. If they don't have any gear, it's fine. And in fact, I strip my tankers down prior to everything to give the pistols to other, other uh, infantry soldiers. Now, the most important squad, in my opinion, guys, is your elite squad. This is the squad that I always bring. And they are basically the cream of the crop. They are the soldiers that I want to bring if I need to get the game going if I need to you know give a spark or take an objective if, if you know if the enemy's really hunkered down these are the guys that I try to bring in to break the line and break through or something like that so you can see you know they've got the best gear max rank Winchester here pistol grenade mines med kits you know all the way down this guy doesn't have a mine but you know I would give these guys mines if I had the extra ones I just I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't use mines that often, so I don't prioritize it very much. But again, they've all got grenades. They've got large ammo pouches. You know, they've got the absolute best weapons that I possibly, possibly can give them. And again, the reason for this is that these are the guys that I bring in when things are rough. When I need to take an objective, when I want to win the game, these are the guys that I bring in because these are the, this is the squad that I'm most comfortable with. This is my kill farm squad, right? So... Whatever squad that is for you guys, that's the squad I recommend bringing. For me, it's this assault team. I love using the SMGs. I love using the Winchesters, so on and so forth. But hey, maybe this is your sniper team, right? Maybe you get 50 kills with a sniper. Maybe you get 50 kills with a flamethrower squad. You know, whatever it is, this is the squad that I recommend bringing. Some elite squad that can do a lot of damage in a short amount of time and you're most comfortable using. Now, for the actual soldiers that I bring, guys, you can see there, Bomber, Engineer, Gunner. I recommend bombers and engineers in every single squad. And the reason for this is that bombers, if you run across a tank, you can just swap to them, throw a P it through the side of it or through the front of it if it's a Puma, or you know, grab an AT rifle, fire into those weak points, take down the tank pretty easily. And you can just deal with tanks. It's nice to have something that is a highly effective tool for killing tanks rather than just having to rely on, you know, say an explosive pack or something like that. And then you get to also bring grenades over explosion packs, which grenades can be thrown. A little bit further and i you know I, I like using grenades over explosive packs a lot of the time anyway so that's that guys bombers engineers engineers for um of course rally points ammo boxes things like that i think that's pretty self-explanatory and then for this squad specifically i brought the gunner because the gunner gets you know a bar can do a lot of damage close range firepower so on and so forth fully automatic guns my play style you know makes sense 
But again, if you're a sniper team, hey, maybe you want to bring a radio operator and then call in radio ar artillery from across the map or something like that. You know, whatever works for you guys. The other two squads I always try to bring guys are squads that I'm just farming up. I'm upgrading them. You can see these guys are leveling up still. They've only got five soldiers. They eventually will become my elite squad, but for now, they need to level up. I've given them some good gear, but this is really not the best gear that I have. Really, I'm just playing around with the M1 carbine, testing it out a little bit, the grenade thrower one. But again, this is not the cream of the crop. This is not the best soldiers. This is not the best gear. And really, I'm just outfitting these guys with whatever stuff I have that is, you know, halfway decent. And then finally, again, sniper team here. Same thing. I'm trying to level them up. I'm upgrading them. So they've gotten, you know, for so the sniper team, they have amazing gear, but that's because snipers are specifically you know, decent gear and have different gear than everyone else. But they don't have sidearms. You know, this guy doesn't have a sidearm. He doesn't have a backpack, things like that. Doesn't even have that great of a gun. For the sniper team specifically, I kind of I kind of take out this engineer a lot of the time. I never really decide if I want him in or not. And the reason for this is that I just don't really want this random guy following my squad around and shooting randomly and giving away our position. I want my snipers to kind of be off to the side of the map sniping people picking enemies off from you know a corner of the map off in the bushes or something like that and having a random engineer firing a lee infield across the map is really really dumb but then when i take them out um basically i run out of ammo and then i'm like wow having an ammo box would be really nice or rally points would be really nice so i don't know i think that it's kind of a hard choice here you know you can bring them you cannot bring them kind of a hard hard decision i think you're right in both ways and i think you're wrong in both ways doing it but that's that guys that is everything that's how i set up my squads hope you enjoyed the video uh remember as always to like comment and subscribe it really does help me out let me know what squads you guys like bringing what's your guys elite squad what's your favorite squad and uh what are your guys squads that you bring or do you guys have a completely different squad set up from me you know just let me know down in the comments below and as always guys you can follow me over at twitch.tv slash hey quadro come join in play some games with me and also if you're looking for other teammates to play with you can join our community discord the link for that is down in the description I'd love to have you guys there. It's a great place, great community, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.